We had so much fun going out to Debbie's grand opening for her new store, DIY A Go Go. Here's a little bit of a snippet of the trip getting there and some fun things that we did while we were there. We wanted to take you guys along with us on our crazy whirlwind of a trip. Being business owners means we don't have a ton of time, so we drove down on one day, spent a whole day there, and came right on back. Every trip needs good snacks, so Zeb and I chose these for the trip. They were pretty tasty. I loaded up the address in the navigation and it's like 700 miles in 10 hour drive. I'm like, woohoo, here we go. 20 hours of driving in three days but it was totally worth it. We got there just in time for the beautiful sunset at our Airbnb that Debbie rented for us. It was so amazing. Um, we wound up, we don't have any pictures, but we wound up having a great time that evening with our friends. And very first thing the next morning, we went and picked up... The IOD sisters. They're super fun. Um, Sally was gorgeous as always, and Josie got some new fun hair. And we got to meet Maddie for the first time, which is Josie's daughter. Yeah, well, it's fun to meet her because... She, she's like our Caitlin, she keeps, she, she holds them together. And the sisters were on time because Maddie was with them. <laughs> we're headed to pick up the IOD sisters. Their hotel is right around the corner, right by the ocean. Oh, this is fancy. <laughs> Sally's like, it's a motel. Right. Moonlight like Beach Motel. It's definitely a motel, kind of kitschy. So cute. Arrived. Boy, this is... <laughs> Look who I picked up, Sally and Josie and Maddie. Hello. Look hey how cute guys. they are. I love that Sally's hair is always curly. No matter what, it's not flat. <laughs> you can count on her curls. Josie got a new do. Is it like silvery purple? Yeah, it's lavender. silver with some lavender. It's right so here. hot. I love it. One of the very first orders of the day at Debbie's shop was the ribbon cutting. That is the main reason we went to California was to support Debbie. She does so much for the DIY retailers and her friends and bringing awareness to what we do for a living. She's always been our number one fan. So we wanted to support her and here's her ribbon cutting. I don't want to keep you waiting any longer. Um, so we're, I guess we're gonna cut this ribbon and it'll be <laughs> official. Yes, the grand opening, right? Yeah. Debbie, we're so happy that your dream to have a nice big funky store with your paint and all your beautiful things. Don't cry, you're gonna make me cry yeah. now. <laughs> you're alive. If I cry, my eyelashes will come off. <laughs> I love you. We love you, and that's why we're all here, and we're so excited for you. For all the things that are gonna go on today, all the workshops, and all your dreams coming to fruition. Well, I just want to say that I do this for you guys. Like, this is, you are my reason and my why. And I, there's, there's nothing better than to be surrounded by good, creative people and to encourage others. And I am so honored that you're all here. I just, that is what keeps me up at night is, did I acknowledge everyone? Do they know how much I appreciate them? And I just wanted to say to all of you how much I appreciate and how deeply blessed I am. And this dream is a big dream that I've had for 21 years, but really it's you. It's you. And I just I just want to create a place where you feel welcome and inspired and um, for this community to have a place to come and be encouraged and create. Because for me, creativity is a survival instinct what gets me through every single hard thing and I want to pass that on to you so thank you so much for for being here I love you I am like I'm so but it's still playing. It's playing and work. Oh, she's in. Hey, Kara, how are you? So one of the things I loved about Debbie's store, she got a lot of help from her dad and Bobby and a few other people, but she just curates it so well. She pulls everything together. 
Uh, the displays were amazing. I loved how she had everything. We're gonna try not to steal some of your ideas, but uh, it's hard to not, because they're so good. We're gonna steal some ideas. <laughs> Sorry, Debbie. Um, it's obvious by the crowd that's there, everybody's wearing their masks and social distancing as much as possible and buying stuff like crazy, because she has amazing style and taste. Her eye for visual display is second to none. We wanted to share with you guys the IOD release. You can catch the live full Facebook video. We're gonna drop that link below, but you can get the new molds and the stamps available online at jamierayvintage.com starting September 1st. And the transfers you see are going to be available towards the end of September. Welcome everybody. One of our favorite stockists, Debbie of DIY. Debbie Beard invited us here and we thought what better way to introduce our new fall 2020 release. So who's excited to see it? All right, we are excited to show. We have been waiting months to show you guys these products. And we're gonna start with the transfers. We can't order Oops. them yet. Oh, oh no. Lavender sprigs. Two oh, sheets of the lavender sprigs. These are my favorite. Just in gratification, baby. Yes. You found the nice thing is our patent pending gridded backing or a mount a carrier sheet makes it super easy to check your that your level mm -hmm. by just checking that this is parallel with the edge. Oh it's just a simple Keep little tool. Hi. Yay. So one of the highlights is that we also got to do a demo while we were there and we had great attendance. It was really fun. I loved the crowd because they were ooing and aahing every time I showed a little stencil. Off. <laughs> they were ooing and aahing every time Zeb showed something. I would show something and there was like radio silence. It was really great to go back and talk about how we started with the crowd. It's always fun to share that story because I feel like it can tell other people that it's totally doable and you, if you can dream it and you put the work in, it can happen. I've been painting furniture since I was 13 years old. And um, let's see, about, let's see, Redrick was like a year old when I started selling it. Yeah. He was nine, so about eight years ago, I started selling furniture because my daughters wanted to do dance and we were very, very poor. And so being able to afford dance was not something that was in our budget. So I was also um, doing underwriting for a mortgage company and doing part-time daycare. So while the kids were napping, I would paint furniture and list it on Facebook. This is when the art sale groups first started um, taking off. And I got super addicted because I like anything that can be entrepreneurial or make money. And so I started painting a little bit more um, and Zeb was working full time. He was, what were you doing Zeb? I was working at Discount Tire. I did it for 15 years. Um, it's America's Tire here in California. For, you're from California. Um, and it was going great, but wasn't uh, wasn't feeling very fulfilled by it and had been passed up on a few promotions too, which never is your favorite. So I was pushing pretty hard to uh, come home and work with Jamie because I was already coming home and working until midnight fixing stuff for her. And she's like, you know what? Let's just do it. Let's do it. So that well, was five years ago now. 
what what Deb's leaving now is that he asked for like a whole year, like please can I just can I just come work with you because my business had grown. I started doing big markets. We put on uh, markets where we'd have about fifty vendors and three or four thousand people would come, and it was really good. And I was like, we have five kids, like we need health insurance and college, and they they kind of like to eat three meals a day. It's rough. And they, it's ironic because Zeb, he would never tell you this, but Zeb had the best numbers in the entire company. He did the most sales. All of his guys loved him, which, I mean, it's not, who doesn't love Zeb? So, it was, <laughs> there was really no reason for them not to give him a promotion. And, in fact, one of the guys, the last straw for me as a wife was when they promoted him with a guy who had been demoted previously for being dishonest. And I was like, you know what, no way. When you see someone you love, like, beat down like that, I'm like, I want you. I'll take you. So we made the risk. We cashed in all of his 401k, and that was five years ago. He started working with me, and we did custom work like crazy for like two years, three years. <laughs> it feels like it was forever. It was a lot. <laughs> like, we probably painted like 2,000 pieces of furniture because it, I mean, if you guys did, how many of you guys paint furniture that are here? Okay, how many pieces of furniture do you have to paint to make a living, right? And then to like pay your bills and reinvest and grow. So we're kind of like a production company and slowly things evolved. So we carried one paint brand, then we carried another paint brand. And Zeb from the very beginning was like, let's do YouTube. Lucky for him, we had two people that lived on our street that made a pretty good living on YouTube. So I could see that that was something that could turn into something. But for me, I was like, but it's not paying any of the bills right now. So we'll just do what we can. And after, what, like three years, it hadn't hardly gone anywhere, and right before I went about to boot two, camp. Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay, two years. I hadn't really done much. I think we were about 12,000 subscribers at that point, and maybe making a couple hundred bucks a month at most. And Debbie invited me to go to boot camp, and I was like, okay. I don't really leave the state of Utah, um, and I don't even sell DIY paint, but all right, I'll do boot camp. And I met Debbie. I was a big fan girl, so I was freaking out, sweating, saying really weird things. Um, I met Dion while I was there. We wound up being roommates. We slept together the first night we met. The relationship moved fast. She doesn't like me to tell people that. But and uh, Dion uh, likes to talk at night, and I talk all day long until it's time to go to bed. So she talked, and she would get so mad because every night I just fall asleep. And she's like, how do you do that? And I'm like, because I go all day long, it's time to go to bed? It's time to go to bed. Um, and I fell in love with DIY paint at boot camp. I came back, I wasn't sure if I could sell it because I sold another brand. And that's like, you're super excited about this. You've got to sell DIY paint. You've got to do it. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And we started selling it and selling it. And people started using it. And it was like crack. And I became the DIY crack dealer. And our website blew up. I hired my niece, Caitlin, to help out because I was doing all the things and could no longer do that. And it kind of expanded from there. The next year at boot camp, I brought Zeb with me. He wound up being the, uh, the carpenter man. Yeah, I was the guy that fixed all the broken furniture for the, uh, what was it, the, uh, the little cell at the end. I forget what it was called. Yeah, he was the, he was the yeah, Ty. Yeah, the boneyard. The Ty Pennington of the DIY boot camp. He, they, he did all of their projects. It was very happy. Um, and then he met the IOD sisters. And I hadn't really sold IOD because I was like, I don't have time. Like, I'm busy. I'm trying to, like, raise a family here. I can't sell one more thing. And they got a hold of Zeb. Sally and Josie cornered him and said, you got to use these stencils. They're so good. And, or stamps. stamps sorry. Stamps. Stamps. They got me. We're talking about stencils later. So you got to use these stamps. And so Zeb's over there stamping. And he's like, this is so good. We're going to sell so much of this. We have to do it. And so the gals were like, we don't want to take this home. So... I'll give you a discount on some of this stuff. And so Zeb's like, I will buy all the things. And so we have these boxes. They stopped of, us at the airport security because they're like, what's in here? I'm like, we can't scan stamps. it. What is in this? this so is they not opened a bomb. them all it's up clay. and looked in there. The clay is what got us. So, but that night we went live on our YouTube channel and we started showing all the stuff. I remember we used the crack allure and like the farmhouse stuff. And it was crazy. Like, people were super excited about it because we were super excited about it. And so then we started selling IOD. And then I started to use stencils a little bit. I'm not, like, super good at stencils. I still, even now to this day, I'm not great at it. Um, but uh, we were promoting for another brand, and they would pay us, like, a certain percentage. Remember I told you I like money? I was like, man, if I'm selling that many stencils, if I made them myself... And I had found this gal on Amazon, and I had started buying stencils from her, and she mentioned to me, like... You know, if you ever want to have your own stencil line, I'd do that for you. And I thought, 
I'm not even, not even really good at stenciling, and I can't draw, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to design this. And Her drawings are the best. Oh, yeah. If you guys could see what the graphic designer has to work with, it's pretty bad. I didn't know it was going to happen. And then August rolled around, and I was like, oh, crap, I told Mara I'd let her retail this. So I got my sister-in-law, Mariah. She, I'm smart in that I know that I cannot do all the things. So I have lots of people that help me out, so I'm not organized at all. And I asked Mariah if she'd find me, be my retail director. Anyway, so Mariah got started, and then it's been, what, a year since that um, happened? Yeah, a year right now. We have over 100 retailers, mostly because... I don't know. Like, I'm not even really good at promoting it because I'm so busy that I don't even pay attention. I just design the stencils and tell the retailers, you know, if you want to sell them, here they are. But I have a lot of great people. That... It might be because I use them in my videos a lot. Yeah, now. Debbie is kind of a famous YouTuber, in case you didn't know. She's kind of a big deal. Yeah. She hates it when I say that. I do. I, I mean, I've used a few JRP stuff. We have like over 200, so I haven't even used all of them. So I thought I'd show you guys some of the new stencils that we have going on, and I'm super excited about these. So we've got the skull, we've got the flowers. It's a little different, more peonies in there, and it comes with the arrows. Apparently that's very popular in this thing called bo bo Boho? Bohemian. Bohemian <laughs> design. Um, and one of the things that JRB stencils is really important to me is I do not just design the things that I love, because with over 100 stencil retailers, and I have retailers in Australia and Germany and Canada, I'm always thinking about what are they selling in their area? Because I'm not gonna lie, um, I don't, the only thing that I've used this mermaid stencil for is my prize box. So if you bring your little kid into my store, we have a prize box that has mermaids on it and I don't like them to touch my stuff. So I will offer them prizes out of the prize box so their hands are full. So one of the things that we came out with, and we've got a few of these all over stencils, is mermaid scales. And I love this because this is such a great background and we made them big enough so that way if you guys are doing a dresser drawer, you could do a whole drawer without having to repeat it over and over again. Um, also perfect for the back of signs, um, French millinery and white swan over the top of mint chip. And you can get a lot of really fun variations just by dipping your brush in. And then Deb, the stencil king. I'll pass it around in a minute. I gotta put some more stuff on it. And oh. he would probably use more colors, but, yeah. you know. Yeah. The thing is, our retailers are so much better than us. I see all the things that they do, and I'm just like, wow, you used like five colors on that. Good job. I'm kind of lazy. We're like black and white. <laughs> I was stretching myself here. I will show you guys this in just a second. Then we're going to pass this around again so you can just kind of see kind of some fun options with the little smaller stencil brush that I've been using here. And you could go crazy. I've just done like two or three different colors on here. Well, that's good. But you, if you take your time and you're not doing a live demo, you could do all sorts of fun stuff. All right. I'll show that first. And can you pass that around uh -huh. for me, yeah. Kathy? Yeah. Okay, so, so how did you get the color, or did you worry where you put the... the, the so I kind of just looked on there to see where there was going to be, like, a little flower. I tried to hit the berries, and then I just mixed in, like, the, uh, the skeleton key and the gypsy green around. And then it's busy enough, you know, it's like a bush. Sometimes you can see the berries through the bush, sometimes you can't. <laughs> I like it. Well, I think that's, that small brush you use is, like, perfect. Yeah, this is the JRV number 18. Okay. I can never remember the numbers. People are like, what stencil brush is that? Yeah. One. It's big enough you could do a large stencil with it if you needed to, but if you've got like a whole wall or a ton of tiles or something you want to do, this is your winner right here. All right, I just wanted to show you this. We got tires. Oh, <laughs> but I'm going to do the truck in a different color, so I'm going to let that... Sit for a second. It's warm this enough out here. It's drying really fast. I've ever seen in my life. Oh, well, who, there's a basket right here with hundreds of colors. <laughs> oh, I should have used some of those because these colors do not go together. My color theory is off. Oh, I missed a triangle too. So if I was doing this in a class, I would have traced out the square, done a color underneath, and then you just place, and then probably maybe use colors that actually match, but you get the idea. Yeah. It looks great. It looks fine. It looks great-ish. Yeah. The oohs and the ahs are not happening. <laughs> it looks kind of Christmasy. Okay, I need to show that to the uh, camera. Oh. We'll, pass it. we'll pass it around. Oh, you guys can see. Vote. She's like, oh, it's not that great, but it's, it's fine. 
the reason that she just wings it like that is because she knows she's going to distress it. The DIY right. paint powders, yeah, right. and it just comes right off and it's magic. Yeah, yeah I, I meant to do that. There you go. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That is cute. So one of the things you can do, um, instead of like doing the little railing, hold off from doing the railing, and then you add your pumpkins yeah, really or your cute. Christmas trees, and then you stencil the railing over the top of it. It looks like your truck is driving off for the holidays. If you have the right colors, you can do chrome accents, you know, it's so crazy. All the things. Um, we have a ton more that I'd love to show you, but it would take all day. Um, and I'm not that prepared. But I appreciate you guys coming for me. I also appreciate you guys coming out for Debbie. Because she has been working so hard on this. And she has been telling me forever, like, I want a store, I want a bigger store, I want some place where I can hold classes and I can have boot camp, but it was never right. And every time she would find a store, she'd send me a picture, do little virtual walkthroughs, FaceTime me so I could see what was going on, and it was never right, and it was never right, and it was never right, and then she found this place, and it is an amazing location, it has all the things that she needed, and all she had to do was wait. And I promise you, um, I hope I don't offend anybody here, but that God has timing. And when there are things that are supposed to happen in your life, they will happen when they are supposed to happen. And 100% in our life, it's happened that way. People ask me if I ever thought I would have a stencil company, if I ever thought that I would have a store, or any of those things. And I never imagined the things that God had for me. But every time an opportunity came, and I knew that it was something we were supposed to do, we just did it. And it's been amazing, and it's been hard, and we work around the clock. And I have cried on the floor of the farmhouse, like, why did I do this? But when was I, like two days ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but when I'm there, and I'm in the midst of working, and I can feel like this is the correct plan for me, it makes me so happy, and things turn out well. So I appreciate you guys coming out here and supporting yes. Debbie's dream, because this is amazing, and she's awesome. And we love you guys. So thanks. Now go buy all her stencils. Yeah. <laughs> and that is her hair color. I did not put hair on any of these mermaids because I thought you guys could do that. You can make her have a little bun in her hair if you want. So you can just make her head shape and then we'll, we'll make a bun in the back. Or you can give her long flowing hair like this one right here. So you really can do whatever you want with the hair. That is why I didn't add the hair for you. Do you want me to do long flowing hair or do you want me to do a bun? Flowing. Flowing? <laughs> flowing. You said bun. <laughs> she said bun. I'll, I can tell you, actually I can make a little bun right here on her head so we put the star to it. Bun with tassels. Bun with tassels? All right. No pressure here, no pressure. All right, so cake batter, and I'm just, this is just your first layer, and it, she has a lot of dimension in her hair, so I painted her head, okay? So cake batter, if you wanted to just paint her head and you were gonna do a bun with it, that's all you would actually do, and then you would give her some little wispies after that. The very last class of the day was a panel with us, the IOD sisters, Debbie from DIY Paint, Josie from Paint Pixie, and Dion from the Turquoise Iris. The crowd and YouTube were able to ask questions about business and how to run them, and we answered them. We're gonna include some of our favorite clips here of questions and answers, and below we'll have all the links to every live video. Uh, my name is Kenise, and I'm here to ask some questions of our lovely panel. We're having a Q&A today at the grand opening of Debbie's new store, the DIY Adogo. <laughs> And Debbie has invited a lot of her close friends and um, fellow business people yeah. and creatives here. We have Dion Woods at the end, our turquoise iris. <laughs> we have Josie a paint, from Paint Pixie. <laughs> and Josie and Sally, the IOD, Ryan Orchid Design Sisters. <laughs> of course, our fearless leader, Debbie Beard. <laughs> And Jamie and Zeb Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage. 
So, so thank you all for coming. Well, we're actually going to start off with a great question from one of our DIY retailers, Michelle Ann. And she, this is for everybody, and it's a great question. She wants to know, what is the most important thing you do every single day to help grow your business? Oh, every single day. I'm the first one, huh? I thought we were going to start that way and come around. You can around. do it. You can do it. You. <laughs> the, the, the most important thing I do every single day to grow our business is just keep moving forward. Um, essentially, getting things done, getting tasks done, and finding those things that I have on my list to do that are most critical and finishing those first. I don't think there's anything I do every day except for probably pray. Like that's the first thing I do in the morning is pray and I ask for guidance and then the rest of the day is kind of whatever it is that happens. She's the wise one in our partnership. <laughs> I love this question because I'm, I'm the type of person who is just very task oriented and I, I can get like annoyed if people interrupt the train like it's like a freight train and it's just going 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 and I've been doing that for the last 40 days trying to get this store open and then yesterday or when was it Today's, yeah yesterday the first day of the grand opening my sister sent me this um, verse from the Bible Corinthians 13 about love and it if you haven't read the verse it basically says you can have all the things, you can have all the knowledge and speak in all the languages, but if you don't have love, you have nothing. Mm -hmm. And to remember, to remind myself every day, the reason why I do what I do is for love of all of you, and hopefully, you know, that you feel encouraged and inspired and that I'm a source of um, encouragement, because creativity for me has been a lifesaver, and... Um, it doesn't matter if there's things in there that aren't painted and cobwebs and and if my you know toenails haven't been pedicured since COVID started. <laughs> what matters is the love, and so that's what I try and do every day is remind myself of the the core reason why I do what I do. Awesome. Yeah, I would say that always, um, always striving to start the day with just centering and just really asking the Lord um, to just remind me. And I just spend some time in the scriptures and have some devotion time to just really center myself, always trying and striving to do that. But right now, it's like critical for, for me because there is so much negativity and fear and you can really get caught up in that. And so... I think right now I have found it so calming to um, just spend some time, however much I'm able to spend with five kids and running a business. It's, you know, a crazy life, but it's critical right now especially to just spend that time centering and ha allowing the Lord to remind me what, um, what is important. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of <clears throat> piggyback on what you two said because so much of it for me is checking my mindset in the morning. Um, why, I mean, whether it's business or just life, why am I doing this? And re being reminded of why I'm doing this. Lord, help me remember why I'm doing this and help equip me to, you know, when things happen on the daily, especially right now, when you see, when you log on to social media and you see people just, if you think or believe this, unfriend me now, or if you think or believe that, unfriend me now. And I was actually just talking to Aaron, and I'm like, you know what? Our tribe of people and our tribe of retailers and our stockist group are so all over as far as their um, political beliefs. beliefs and their beliefs and I'm like and we get to be connected with all of them and that is a blessing because that is why we're getting to do this to love on people to reflect our maker and to um, pour in love into the people that we, we strive to serve and so mm -hmm. checking our why is a huge thing for us that's that spiritual component and that service component so I'm not used to speaking like all of you. I don't do as many lives, so I'm a little nervous. But, of course, 
when everybody said we are like that every day, every, you know, praying, and I pray during this time, um, honestly, for my retailers, it has, that their businesses continue, and it's not for me, it's, I honestly, don't tell my husband I said this, but it's not <laughs> for my financial gain why I started this business. It's to get a good, a great product out there, and for anybody who buys into it, to be proud of it and make money. And so, it does start with prayer. At night, it's thank you, God, for giving me all of you, you know. And so, that's the most important. But aside from that, I honestly am always thinking of the next product. I go to bed thinking, okay, right now we're ready to come out with another product. I'm like, okay, what can I do next so that it's a better product? We do a lot, of, especially with uh, Dion, we're real excited about some things, and we're getting ready to launch some new things, but we have to brainstorm. And so anyway, that's what I do every day. <laughs> every day. Every day. I guess this is going to be a lot more simple than theirs, but... Um, thinking about one thing that I feel like I do every day that is definitely, it was to move my business forward, right? I think it's to paint. Um, it's kind of my life support, you know, the, the safe place where no matter what's going on in the world, man, give me the brush. Um, and when I do go through that process of whatever it is, sometimes it's just 30 minutes, but I have to do it. And then I'm reminded why I'm doing it and why I'm doing all the hard things that I don't want to do sometimes. But I get to paint for a living. It's wild. So anyway, I don't know why I'm cheering up, guys. Um, but there's a grateful heart that comes with that that I get to paint. And so that's what started. The business came after I just wanted to paint. So moving my business forward is just painting each day. Reminding myself why I'm doing it. Um, and it gets through all of the other things that you don't want to do, like the grungy stuff. But anyway, I think that's my best answer is I paint every day. And that helps, helps me grow. Thank you. We have a question from Caitlin Chambers. You know her? That's oh, my yeah. <laughs> What did she ask? She said, what has been your favorite thing about your business and what has been the most difficult? Is that for everybody? I don't know. You ask her. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> my favorite thing about my business is that, like, I get to go shopping and buy junk. Like, literally, I get to buy junk that I love, and then I get to find other people that also love my junk, and then they buy it, and then I get to buy more junk. Like, that's my favorite thing <laughs> in the whole world. Like, if I could just buy it, right? Yes. Like, to, to, yes. Uh, somebody else loves the things that I love, and they're going to buy it. And that's my job like that's awesome so that's the best part um the worst part is uh, for me taxes taxes <laughs> yeah but um i think the worst part is not having more to give like there's so many things that i want to do and so many people that i want to connect with and so many people that i love and just not having more than i have to offer them and knowing that there's so many people with a need so that, I feel like that's hard for me because I do want to be able to be all things to everybody and then knowing that I can't and just accepting what I can do. Yeah, that's hard. Yeah. Up to me. <laughs> so I worked at a tire shop for 15 years, started when I was 17, um, and moved up through the, the corporate ranks of said tire shop. And it was awesome, it was good, it was going great, but it was not my favorite thing, it wasn't what I was really super passionate about. Um, and then I, uh, I quit my job five years ago, and my very favorite thing, um, I have not missed a football game or a cheer competition or a dance competition in five years. And that's, that's my why, and that's my favorite thing. <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> and I, I am sorry. It doesn't matter if we've got to work until 1 a.m. I'm, I'm not going to miss those games or the time with my family. And that's also the most difficult thing because at the end of the day, 
it's between Jamie and I, and we got to put the food on the table, too, because <laughs> we did take that jump. But um, a large part of it was just taking that jump and having faith, and then you got to put the work in. The whole event was really well attended because everybody loves Debbie and the classes were amazing. People were willing to fly in from all over the country and even quarantine when they got back home just to be there for Debbie. So I just want to give a big shout out to Debbie from Debbie's Design Diary for pulling together an awesome shop and making a beautiful tribe. We had an amazing time with all of our friends and all the followers that came and we hope you enjoyed coming along with us. Make sure you guys are hitting up jamierayvintage.com for the paint and products that you saw she used in this video. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.